Hey, it's JV Tech T. What's going on, everybody? And here we're taking a look at the ZTE Blade V8 Pro. Now, the Blade V8 has a 5.5 inch screen, has full HD resolution, and is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 625. Now, that should provide some pretty good performance for the mid tier users, and it could be a reliable phone to use, especially at a lower price point, as this is exactly what we're looking at here. Uh, the rear camera, however, is where a lot of the fun is at. You get two 13 megapixel cameras, and one of them helps get depth information so you can have an aperture type mode. Essentially, you'll be able to take a photo of your subject, hopefully just a little bit in front of the camera, and it will be able to put that in focus uh, based upon a particular aperture and have everything else bokehed out or just slightly blurred out for a nice filmic look. From there, you can actually go into the gallery and change where the focus is, uh, either in the foreground or the background, and change exactly what might be fully in focus and what is bokehed out. Other specifications include a 3140 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty good considering that this phone is at 5.5 inches, but sports 1080p resolution. So battery life could be quite good on here. After that, uh, it feels pretty nice in the hand and it has a nice backing that is a textured rubber uh, that kind of provides it more grip than some of the other phones that we have seen so far at CES 2017, where it's mostly metal and glass that kind of slip about. Uh, so it's a pretty solid phone inside and out and you'll be able to get it for a pretty low price. Some premium features on this phone include the fingerprint reader, and there is also a micro SD card slot that is available on top of the 32 gigabytes built in. So you do get a few premium features in a mid-tier phone, and ZTE was very adamant about telling us that, well, this is sort of one of those phones that you would get for somebody that needs to save some money but wants to have some of the best that's out there in the smartphone world. We certainly agree with especially the camera package. We were pretty impressed with the first shots that we got, but obviously we're going to wait until our full review. Those dual 13 megapixel cameras on the back could actually make this camera package really great and probably put it above some of the other competitors in its price point. And of course, a front facing 8 megapixel camera is available also if you need to take your selfies. As always, we're going to have to take a closer look at this phone once we get our hands on a review unit, and that should be happening pretty soon. So stick around to Android Authority for the full review of the ZTE Blade V8 Pro and for even more from CES 2017, because we are, of course, your source for all things Android.